Euro. Now this guy is being linked with the move to Real Madrid, PSG, Liverpool, Man United. All the elite clubs are fighting for his signature. And they're saying that he does prefer a move to Madrid. Now, even though all the reports indicate he wants to move to Madrid, right? That doesn't mean that there's any guarantee that that can happen. As you see, right, Liverpool are pushing to sign him. PSG are also involved. Man United are there as well. And I think all four of these clubs can use him. I think it just depends on what does Lenny Euro want. Because if he wants to come to Madrid, then he has to realize that he's going to be on the bench. He's going to be rotated. He's not going to just come in and start. And Madrid, we do need to sign a center back, right? Nacho is leaving, or that's what the reports are saying. It's not necessarily official yet, but his contract runs out in a few weeks. So he hasn't signed an extension. So Nacho is probably not going to be here. David Alaba is coming off a major injury. He's also not getting any younger. Rudiger had one of the best center backs in Europe. He's not getting any younger. Now, you also have Eder Miltao, who's only like 24 years old. But yeah, Madrid do have to look at signing a young center back. And the way that everybody talks about Lenny Euro, they're saying that he's a generational talent. He's one of the best young center backs that we've seen for a while. I swear I've seen somebody call him the Mbappe of center backs. And the last time I saw a player get talked about like that was William Saliba. And look at how well he's doing at the moment. And I'd be lying to you if I've told you that I've watched Lil play this season. I have not. I've not watched one game. I do not know what this player is like. I've seen a few compilations, and it looks good. But compilations can make anybody look good because you're only going to be showing their best plays. But if all these teams are in for him, there must be something about him. So I think it would be a good signing for Real Madrid if they can do it for the reasons why I pointed out. PSG. They're in the race because he's French. They want to sign the best French talent because they're the biggest club in that country. On top of that, Marquinhos not getting any younger. And this kid's only 18 years old. And I think PSG, again, as I said, with them losing Mbappe, they're going to go out there and spend a lot of money this summer because they're going to have to answer to losing one of the best players in the world for nothing. Their fans are going to demand that they go out there and spend money. I think most of the money will be spent in attacking areas, but I definitely don't rule out them going out there and signing a defender, especially one that's as young as this, that's showing that much promise. Liverpool, they could use him because I think Van Dyke is leaving. I think Van Dyke will be in Saudi at the start of next season. I saw him linked with the move to Dortmund, but do Dortmund don't really operate like that, right? Because, I mean, let's be honest. Liverpool are going to probably still want a good amount of money to sell Van Dyke, And I think if he leaves, you have to replace him, right? You have Konate there already. And then you have Joe Gomez. Joe Gomez is okay. Konate looks really good. He's French as well. So then if you sign uh, Lenny Euro, then you're pairing up two French guys, right? Um, And, you know, he could possibly get playing time much faster at Liverpool. If Van Dyke leaves, then he would at a PSG who already have um, Hernandez and Marquinhos. And then at Real Madrid, where you're going to have to compete with um, Rudiger, uh, David Alaba, uh, Eda Matau, and David Alaba. And then Man United, I think he could start for Man United day one. Day one. Man United don't have to sell anybody for this kid to go into that starting 11 because their center back options are trash. Rafael Varane is leaving. So who's going to have to compete with? Harry Maguire? Johnny Evans? Victor Lindelof? Who else? Lissandro Martinez. He's a good player, by the way, but he's never fit. This guy stretches the wrong way and he's out for four months. So... Maybe that could be an attractive prospect for Lenny Euro because Man United are doing this whole rebuild, right? They have new ownership that's controlling the footballing side of things with Ineos. And maybe they can sell him on a project of him being able to start 
for one of the biggest clubs in the world because I know Man United have not been the same since Sir Alex Ferguson left. But they are still an elite big club. Players do want to play for them, and they do have the money to offer him as well. So I can definitely see this move happening. And I think Ineos, with this being their first summer at the club, they're going to want to impress. So I think United are in for a big summer, man. I'm telling you, I think they're going to spend a lot of money, and I think they're going to get a few marquee signings. And Lenny Yoro could be one of those signings that may go underneath the radar. But if how hyped up this guy has been, if even half of it is true, he might be a steal. Now, I don't know how much he'll cost, though, right? They're saying that his market value is 40 M's. You know, maybe Lil might want more than that. There could possibly be a bidding war for him. Um, so we'll have to see. But I can definitely see him going for about 50 or 60 uh, million. And then that's just so much money, though, for an 18-year-old kid that really hasn't proven that much. Like, you have to spend that much money on potential. Like, back in the day, 50 or 60 million got you a world-class player. Now it's getting you a young prospect that's supposed to develop into a world-class player. It's crazy nowadays. But let me know what team you think should go out there and sign Lenny Europe.